Hey yo! What up, what up, what up? Welcome. It's your boy Blue. We live. Oh yeah. Two minutes. So we kick this thing off. So if you're gonna join us, join now. Or forever. Stay grounded. What up, Blazing? Jakins, you can see, man. It's Louis the Master. What's going on, head? I'm going to go ahead and do these shout outs now. I got two minutes. Let's see. Who's our VIP today? Who's our VIP today? Bandito Dorito. What's up, man? Wisdom Nazi. What up? Walking through. Thomas R. Take off aviation. Shout out to you, bro. Alex Pete. Snafu. What up, man? Hurricane Tracker. Welcome to the stream. Welcome aboard. Walking through. Welcome aboard. Taff Adventure. Welcome aboard. 15 Eagles donated. 15. Wait, no, sorry. 15 Eagles, 399 in Super Chat. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that, bro. Appreciate it. Taxi Wade, welcome aboard. Crazy Chaz, welcome aboard. Young Pete, welcome. Little 456, welcome. Anmar Beg, sorry if I missed anybody. Josva, welcome. Infinite Pilote, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are all welcome here. Lindsay Pinlin, good to see you. Josva, good to see you. Justinus, welcome back. Uh, who am I missing? CJ Thu, welcome. Blazing to Kinsey. I think I already said your name. I like it so much I said it twice. Mike Atifa, welcome. Omar Joseph, good to see you. Tick Tick Pro, welcome back. 
Sean NG, hello. Seneca, good to see you. Anguaris, 64. Ranger Dude, what's up? Alex Murillo, it actually took me a little bit longer than usual to load in. Maybe because of updating so many people on the server right now. Paul, welcome. DL Film, welcome. Cherno, it is almost time to get started. succeed actually that's your trouble you've no ambition ambition <laughs> All right, guys, officially welcome to the stream. It's your boy Blue, Blue Game. Today we are on Infinite Flight. There's been a brand new update. I believe it was today. Yes, the Infinite Flight 18.4 update release. We'll be talking about that as well as Infinite Assistant. Infinite Flight Assistant also came out with an update in the last couple of days. We'll be talking about that a little bit as well. So if you hear any sounds that you're not used to hearing, that is because I am now using the full version of Infinite Flight Assistant. Yeah, so we'll talk more about that when we get airborne. And hello, scam likely calling. We're gonna go ahead and decline that because that's what always happens when I stream. Somebody decides to call me. Nobody's called me all day. <laughs> like in 24 hours, not even yesterday, nobody's called me. But when I decide to stream on my phone, they call. That being said, let's go ahead and jump into this thing. I'll turn the music down a little bit. Hope you, hopefully, you guys are doing well. We're flying the CRJ. 1,000. This is a plane I've actually never flown on any simulator ever. Um, let's open up the doors. I didn't do that. I kind of felt bad for not opening up all the doors. So we're going to open the doors up and allow you guys to actually get in here. Uh, we're sitting here at Palma de Mallorca just to the east of Spain. I believe it is a part of Spain. It's a province of Spain or something like that. There's been a lot of stuff updated on the screen, so if you see me surprised, it's because I had no idea. Like this is kind of like a first impression, as well, because I haven't gone through all the updates. I see I have the list of what updated, but I have not actually messed with any of them. So this is my first flight since the update, because the update happened like an hour ago. So something like that. All right, doors are open, cargo's open. We're loading up. Thank you guys so much for flying with us. It is not Friday. We've been doing a lot of Friday night flights. It is actually not Friday. It's a long time I've flown since. Long time I've flown on a day other than Friday. So, uh, Palma, today we're flying from Palma de, Mallorca, Palma de Mallorca to Madrid, Spain. So, that being said, I am going to set my altitude initially for 12,000. Are my engines on right now? Okay, so there's a new button up here on my top right. It says systems. And yeah, my engines are actually already on. Oh, well, we're just not going to go through that again. Um, we're going to go ahead and go seatbelt song. No smoking signs. We're going to also go on. And we're going to go ahead and kill the music so that we can hear um, whatever sounds there are. There are no updated sounds in Infinite Flight, but I'm using Infinite Assistant. And that's going to add a few new sounds and features to our game today. So, so let's make that happen real quick. Hold on, just getting some things situated in my ears. And we'll be ready to push back here. Let me know if uh, the sounds are loud enough for you right now. Nothing's really going on, so don't worry about it. So we're going to go ahead and push back. There's no ATC, I don't think. Nope, there's not. So we're going to go... Uh, oh, wait. Wait a second. Yes, there is. So let's go ahead and request pushback from uh, ground. And send that. Parliament de Mallorca ground. Blue 116. They said that completely Ready wrong. Push back. Already making mistakes. You don't ask for pushback when your doors are open. <laughs> I'll shut that door back. Alright, we're getting two four right. That's good. Right behind us. Cool. Okay, Nick, now is that. Release the parking brakes. And I gotta get used to these buttons. 
Oh, Cameron, you make a very freaking good point there. He says that I might want to restart Infinite Fight Assistant because somebody called me, so I'm actually going to do that. Because I think I should already be hearing stuff happening. I think. I haven't used Infinite Flight Assistant in so long, but I'm, I'm assuming things are supposed to be happening already. So I'm going to push back here. I'm going to hit the brakes before we uh, request taxi. I think right here should be good. And I'm actually going to a swipe up here on my iPhone 10. Swipe up. There we go. And I am going to go over to Infinite Flight Assistance. I'm going to close it. And reopen that. Sorry about that, guys. This always happens when I decide to stream. Somebody calls me. This is why I don't do a lot of long hauls. All right, so now we'll go back to Infinite Flight and we'll see if it connects. Ready when you are, Captain. There it is. It's connected. That easy. Oh, that's legit. Listen to that. It's really hard to hear because there's ATC talking over it. Taxiing to runway 24 right, Air Nostrum 0754. Juliet 240, push back approved. Expect runway 24 right. Air Nostrum 153, health position. Yeah, you can just barely, barely hear it. Let's go ahead and uh, request taxi to 24 right. Yeah, because it's so much, we'll, oh, we'll, we'll see. We might be able to hear it later on in the flight. Like all up in the way right now, too. Thanks for the suggestion, Cameron. I would have I missed that. Alright, contact with tower when ready. I'm going to go flaps 8. Taxiing to runway two four right. I'm so used to my <laughs> my camera being on my left finger and on my right. right so that. All right, we're clear. Taxi to runway two four right. One sixteen. So you can see the HUD has changed around a bit. Um, the camera icon, at least on the iPhone, is now on the right side, right hand side. We're actually going to taxi that way and then back over there to our left. Um, yeah, this has the system thing over there, which is pretty cool. I'm going to talk about the actual update notes that they put on the forum when we get in the air. That's when I get in the air. Uh, make sure before you push back that you put a lot of fuel. Make sure you pack some extra fuel. Um, the flight's only going to be about an hour, but I have three and a half hours of fuel on board right now just in case i'm expecting a lot of traffic in madrid today uh, it's gonna be very busy it's update day it's release day so it gets really really busy uh, we will have atc out there i'm actually surprised i have atc here in uh, palma malarca i'm um, glad to have it so thank you uh for controlling for us today did i do lights i'm so okay system nav lights that is and beacons that's all we need right now. i was like how come my lights are not on yeah so under systems now we have seatbelt signs nav lights beacon lights lane lights strobe lights uh you can turn the hood on and off that's from when you're in the uh the cockpit so you can turn your hood on and off in here which i don't mind uh fpv i don't know what that means Flight path vector. Not sure. We'll see when we get in the air. We'll try that out. Pushback is in here. We got our engine uh, percentage and whatnot. We got our, our doors here, our wipers. You can access inside of the system menu. So that's pretty cool. I don't mind. I think it's a it's a good. Um, I think it's I think it's a good look. I think it's a good change to the uh, interface. Just takes some getting used to. Got used to the old the old one. So we're flying. Speaking of old, there's uh there's two Iberia deliveries available for the CRJ-1000. There's the old version and there's a newer version. And we're flying the old one. I thought about flying the new one, but I was like, the old one is just so nice. It's like, has that classic look to it, you know? Looks really good. Um, I always say this whenever I get a first look at one of Infinite Flight's new aircraft, but they do a great job with the liveries and the texturing. It looks really good. 
It's still hard to believe that it's a uh, <laughs> mobile sim. One day they'll have some uh, HDR effects or something where like the uh, you can see the heat haze coming from the back of the engine, but that might be a long shot. Might be asking for too much there. <laughs> All good though. All right, so trim. Let's go. Uh, I always say this. I hate that I say this, but I always say this. Um, I just fly so many different planes that I kind of forget what all the different flap settings need to be what all the different v, v speeds are so I'm just kind of winging it so don't you know don't use this as a tutorial on how to fly the CRJ-1000 because I haven't flown it in a while thank you Lucas for the subscription welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal Family so alright let's do it real quick before takeoff check uh, we got our speed which is set to zero which is how it's going to be on if your flight heading is fine altitude set to 12,000 initially um, and then vertical speed is not set spoilers are set to off or a reject takeoff autopilot is disengaged trim is set flaps is set brakes are off system nav lights all that stuff is good we'll turn the land lights and the strobe lights on once we get to the uh the runway. We'll hold short here at, right before the whole short line of two, what is it, two four right? Two five right? And we'll contact tower. Uh, one thing I want to say before we leave today is everybody please respect ATC and what ATC tells you to do. Please respect them as well as please maintain spacing between you and the person in the front of you. If you see somebody behind you who is not maintaining spacing and we can't really do anything about it, you could be the bigger man and like go around or divert or something. It's up to you. Um, but uh, please maintain spacing. We're going to have a lot of traffic flying into Madrid today. We can't see it from where we are right now, um, but there is going to be a lot of traffic in Madrid. So let's go ahead and switch over to Tower. We'll request takeoff. Two four right. Departing to the west. Technically straight out. Tower. Blue one sixteen. Ready for takeoff at runway two four right. Departing west. The wait to hear from tower. Be rolling out of here today. You can see they're using two for left and two for right. Very smart move, I think, of ATC to use both runways with there being so much traffic randomly. There was nobody here before we got here. And so the best way to get all these departures out of here is probably to use two runways. So good idea there. We'll also go through the camera views and all that. So we'll show off the aircraft again. We'll use all that kind of stuff. All right, all right. I don't know if there's any differences in the cockpit itself. Thank you, Ahoud, for that subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal family. But I don't know if there's any differences in the CRJ-1000 cockpit and the 200 and all the other different versions of the CRJs that they just released. So we'll see. Looks the same to me. Same. I think the window views are the same too. All right, all right. All right, so still waiting for clearance to take off. And it's going to go down here and make sure all my stuff is right. So we got our flight time, distance, ET destination, ETE destination, fuel remaining, winds, altitude. I'd like to have my ground speed down here. Let's go ahead and put that down. So I don't technically need that, but um, no. I'm excited. I'm ready. To, I'm ready to get going, guys. I am ready to get going. While we're waiting, though, I think is a perfect time to do a nice screenshot. These beautiful Iberia CRJs. Legitness. Yeah, I like that right there. I can dig it. I can dig it, baby. Pop one. Sorry if I'm not seeing uh, some of you guys' chat right now. Once we get in the air, I'll uh, take a look at some of you guys' questions. But we actually have a lot to go over today. We have a lot to talk about. 
Um, I'm excited about the Infinite Flight Assistant update, excited about the Infinite Flight update, and for you guys who are fans of this, I'm also excited about the new uh, information about Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> so, um, pretty, uh-oh, what did I do? My bad. <laughs> uh, moved a bit too much. Keaton, bro, what is Infinite Flight? Infinite Flight is a mobile flight simulator. That is what it is. So if you're new to it, this is probably the bet, the perfect stream for you to watch. Uh, still waiting to hear back from ATC. I'm not sure what's going on there. I don't know if, if I'm having a connection issue. No, everything's looking green. Um, uh, I'm gonna resend that. I haven't heard any communication at all on the radio. Oh, wow. I'm gonna check in with him, make sure he's okay. Oh, okay, tower's offline. All right, well. Let's see. There's no towers online. Towers online. As well as if you're new, if you are new to Infinite Flight, it also has uh, the multiplayer feature as well. So we're flying Infinite Flight multiplayer. You can also fly offline if you like. Uh, one of the cool things about the update is that the CRJ 200, which is a smaller version of the CRJ 1000 we're flying right now, is now. Uh, one of it's now included in one of the free planes that you get when you download the game, which is pretty cool. I'm glad that they did that uh, because all the old ugly planes were the free planes. Okay, so tower is officially offline, so we're gonna go ahead and announce that we're taking off here. It's a Unicom on two four right before they get back straight out. So now I'm gonna go to systems, land lights. Departing straight out. I think that is all we need to do there. Is taking off runway two four left. He's parking brake. Still not used. <laughs> I used to my camera being right there. I keep wanting to press the camera button. I'm also going to turn on the HUD. And remember, you have to actually click on systems again for to uh, close out. All right, flaps are set, gears set, lights are all on. We are ready to go. So we have a uh, parallel departure over there somewhere too. All right, guys, strap up. Time to go. Power up. We'll fly out runway heading here. Airspeed is alive. Agent Nuts. Oh man, what the heck? Come on, stay on runway. <laughs> Horrible takeoff. What happened there? I don't think Infinite Flight Assistance is working because it's supposed to say V1 rotate and all that stuff. We'll figure that out next time. I'm gonna lock my heading there. We are climbing at 3,000 feet per minute at 197 knots. Tower just came online, but now we are airborne, so we don't need to talk to Tower anymore, anyways. Again, flying runway heading. We are parallel. A friend over there. It's pretty never a nose down. We're at 6,000 feet per minute. That's way too much. I think that's a uh, Justin over there. There we go. Watch our speed. We're gonna climb out about 230, 235. Let's take our time today. Down the rush and hit nav mode, and there we go. Let's go to that flyby. Ready for takeoff at runway two four right, departing straight out. Golf November one Tango Romeo, line up and wait runway two four left. Beautiful. Line up and wait runway two four left. Golf November one Tango Romeo. 
<laughs> RIP people in the back of the plane. <laughs> that was right. Yeah, it was a rough takeoff for sure. It felt like there was like no wind, and then as soon as the plane got light, it felt like there was like the plane wanted to roll to the left. It might have been. You know what it could have been? I think I know what it was. What it was is that I did not. Um, I did not re. What do you call it? Calibrate my screen before I took off. So I'm not flying with a joystick or anything like that. I'm flying with my hand, with my phone in my hand. That's it. So it, my phone might have been slightly uncalibrated before we took off, and that might have been why I was falling over there. Because it was like three knots of wind. There was nothing. Wind should not have been a factor at all. All right, flaps up. Beautiful man, I love flying out of Palm uh, Lock. It's a beautiful freaking island, man. I would love to join this place. You can see traffic behind us. We got two aircraft, one there, one there, and one way off in the distance. Again, guys, remember separation: ten miles or more. You get to just start out with that separation, so when we get into A to C, uh, airspace and all that stuff, we don't have to worry about. Let's see what other wing views you get. Oh, that's, that's legit. Look at there. <laughs> oh, man, that's dope. Now we're coming up on 12,000. We'll go ahead and uh, adjust. We're cruising today at, I didn't mention this earlier, we're cruising at 31,000 at flight level 310. So we'll go ahead and switch altitude to that. We'll go ahead and just bypass. 12,000, go straight to 31,000. Bring our vertical speed back just a little bit. Because we're over 10,000 now, we can go faster than 250 knots. So we'll go and climb around 285, and that sounds good to me. Beautiful departure out of Palma. Palma, ah, Palma, whatever, I'm just going to say Palma. I always get tongue twisted when I want to say the whole thing. That's it. What up, Murphinator? Good to see you, man. Let's go to normal. Where's my actual camera? I'm, I'm getting used to this again. All right, we can also turn the landing lights. And yeah, landing lights off, beacons and strobes will leave on, seatbelt sounds will leave on for now. Something that would be really cool that I don't think is available yet in free camera, you can adjust like the, uh, the fo not the focus, but like the depth of the camera. I don't really know how to explain it. Like the zoom, I guess you could say. Or the... Um, whatever, yeah, so you can like zoom in or whatever, but with uh, the regular camera, you can't really do that, like this camera, I can't do that, so it'd be really cool if I could like zoom out here like this, and then like uh, pinch my finger to make it kind of zoom in to give it a different type of depth, a different like look, it'd be, it'd be really dope, you can do that in um, single player where you have control, you can pause it and then use free camera to do that, but you can't really do that in multiplayer. Just to add to the millions of things that they already have to do. Oceans, as far as the eye can see, you can just barely see the continent over there. The distance on the horizon. Just barely. Okay, thank you, Pablo. Pablo just cleared it up. So he said the update does have a few bugs, and he was sending takeoff clearances, and no one received them. So that is the reason why we were sitting there um, holding for so long. Um, I knew, like, I, I was like, why would he just leave? <laughs> like, he must be having some kind of issue. So thanks for clearing that up, bro. So people be patient. If uh, you're trying to get clearance to take off and for whatever reason you're not hearing anything or seeing anything from ATC, uh, just wait it out and either wait for them to log off or wait for them to finally actually give you a, a, a takeoff clearance. 
Do they have? Ooh, that's a good question, Taff. Do they have the systems feature in all the other aircraft? I don't know. I assume like this seems like more of like a a, a global, like all planes probably have this thing because this is to the UI. This is not. I don't think this is specifically CRJ related. It clears up some space though, because before they had to have two buttons, one for like all of this stuff, and then you had to switch over to do the rest, and yeah, now it's all in one place, so I think it's, it's really good. So as we're climbing, passing 23,000 feet, let's talk about this update real quick. I don't think that Infinite Flight System is working. We'll try that on my next video, and I'll see what's up with that. I don't know if I did something wrong or what, so we're just not going to worry about that in today's flight. But let's talk about Infinite Flight. Let's talk about this newest update. Justin, what's good with you, man? Life is good. Tashar, speaking of the update, so yes, what does FPV mean? Let's go look at that. It says flight path vector or something like that. So we go to the inside view. Maybe we can see it in here. So I'm gonna click on FPV. Flight path vector is on. I think I know what that means. Let's I'm gonna try something real quick. I'm gonna try something. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of systems. Cause that's a feature that I, nobody really was expecting, um, at least I, I, I wasn't. So I'm gonna switch from nav mode to heading, cause we're basically just going straight right now, and we're gonna switch our heading to like a bit to the left. Okay, nothing. Okay, it's not what I. I was thinking it was gonna show you something but I'm not seeing at all uh, we might have to ask maybe somebody in chat maybe one of the developers or somebody uh, can answer that and tell us what does a uh, flight path vector mean because I don't know I have no idea appreciate you guys as uh, patience and uh, and everything helping us stay space and all that, I do appreciate that. And ATC will appreciate that as well. Alright, so yeah, update, update time. So I'm going to read through the notes real quick while we're climbing. So you can find this on Infinite Flight's forum, which is uh, community.infinite-flight.com. Or just search Infinite Flight and you'll find it. Um, so basically, uh, the major updates uh, were the CRJ200. Uh, and a lot of liveries, <laughs> uh, aircraft and liveries included without subscription now. So now the CRJ200 and its liveries are all included without a subscription. Uh, the CRJ1000 came out. ATC Multi Frequency for Expert Server is now available for ATC controllers. There's a new systems page, which we saw. A lot of bug fixes, as usual. Pushback with runway requests. Before, you couldn't, I don't think you could ask. Or runway when you push back. I guess they, they updated that. That's something I didn't really realize we didn't we weren't able to do. So whenever you're pushing back, you can ask for a runway request so you know which way to push back. Uh, ATC performance optimization, so that's on the ATC side of things. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be very excited and happy about a lot of those things. Um, let's see what else does it say? Uh, since we have now completed the CRJ family of aircraft with our fourth update of the year with the new variants coming comes a host of deliveries, ATC updates and improvements, a new aircraft system, user interface, and more. So lots of deliveries. Definitely check out the homepage of Infinite Flight to uh, see all the different CRJ deliveries. There's a lot. There really is a lot. Like just the delivery part probably took a long time for them to do. Uh, man, craziness. Uh, let's see what else do they have. Uh, yeah, earlier this year they released the 700 and the 900 variants, uh, which a lot of people really liked. It came with a wing flex animate. Wait, sorry. Uh, sorry, as well as the wing flex came to A320, we know about that. Following that momentum, 18.4 brings even more realism with the CRJ200 and 1000. As with other recent releases, these models have been tested against real world data and flight tested by our real world CRJ pilots. I wonder who that is. <laughs> uh, with these new regional variants comes over 20 liveries fresh from the paint shop to please users for, from countries around the world. Uh, what else does it say? As with our other updates, Infinite Flight Pro subscribers can enjoy all features and updates by simply simply updating the app. That means that all this update is not a extra cost to anybody. If you have a subscription, you get it all. Like you don't do anything extra, just update it if you haven't already. 
Uh, it says, as, spe as a special bonus to all Infinite Flight users, the CRJ200 will come as a free update with all liveries belonging to that variant. What's up, Alf Alfster? Thank you for the follow, bro. Thank you for supporting the channel. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal fam, man. Uh, you read that correctly. Everyone can enjoy the CRJ200 and all liveries that come with it as a part of this update. So basically, if you don't have a subscription to Infinite Flight Global and you just have the game, uh, then you can still get the CRJ200 uh, and all of its liveries. So that's what that means. Um, then it kind of goes into the optimizations and improvements for ATC, which I'm not going to really go into, um, but they look really helpful. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else do they say? Uh, so obviously it talks more about ATC. In this update, we have included some ATC optimizations and improvements. Most notably, it is the ability to, uh, for controllers to share the traffic load by tag teaming multiple tower, ground, or radar frequencies, which we probably may see that when we get into Madrid, because it's going to be really busy. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see multiple frequencies of uh, like approach and things like that. So I wouldn't be surprised about that at all. Uh, let's see what else we got. Files will now be instructed which frequency to tune into based on their location via the ATIS. This is especially useful during peak hours and high volume events. Sort of like today. Miguel, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal fam. Let's see, uh, nah, nah, the rest of the stuff you already know. Livery updates. I'm just going to go list you guys a bunch of liveries. For the 200, we got Air Canada, American Eagle, Aruba, Bolivia, Delta, Generic, Infinite Flight, J Air, Kindle Airlines, Mexicana Link, Northwest. Airlines, South African Express, United Express, Uter Aviation. Those are all the CRJ200 liveries. For the 1000, you get Air France, Brit Air, Eric Air, Binter Canarias, Bombardier House Livery, Garuda Indonesia, Generic Hop, Iberia, uh, the new and the old, and then you get My Air and Sky Team. So that's pretty much everything that they've listed here on the, uh, on the forum about the release. So pretty cool. Everything is working pretty fine so far, except for uh, us having a little bug with the ATC there earlier. There. So how are you guys doing? What do you guys think? Whew. That was a lot to read. Yes, there's a lot of things they can still add, obviously. And I think that discussion is never going to end, no matter what they add to Infinite Flight. I believe that people are still going to be asking for more, which is good. Um, because, and I believe the developers are the same way. No matter what they release, I'm pretty sure they still have ideas and things that they want to add um, to Infinite Flight, which makes sense. I mean, why would they want to just stop it? All right, we're gonna make clouds, and then that's it. After that, not a single update's gonna come out. Well, I'm pretty sure if that ever actually happens, and we get clouds in Infinite Flight, there's gonna be something else after that, like you know, rain. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying. But yeah, be patient for sure. I mean, what I like is that they are actually releasing updates. There's a lot of other games, uh, other games that are trying to compete with Infinite Flight that are not coming out with consistent updates. But Infinite Flight is coming out with consistent updates, and I do respect that. Um, a lot of people are um, excited, a lot of people, you know, a lot of mixed feelings about what they're updating and things like that. Um, but I think that in the end, it's gonna be a better uh, game. And I believe this time next year, It'll be completely different. I remember when Global first released, it was a completely new game. When they released the uh, MD-11, it was like, wow. Like, every time they release something new, you're like, wow, like, this is so cool. So, um, just be patient. Stick around. Enjoy flying. For all the aviation lovers out there, this is a perfect game. Um, I'm not trying to sell you Infinite Flight. I'm just telling you <laughs> what I feel. But it's a perfect game for people who are on the go. You know, maybe you don't. Maybe you love flight simulating, flight simulators, but you can't fly them because they're always out somewhere. Uh, well, Infinite Flight, there you go. This has a great community and all that stuff too. So, uh, but my opinion on a CRJ 1000, and uh, to be honest, I mean it's it's just a longer version of the 200 and and the other ones that were already released. So, that wasn't a, ma a major deal for me, uh, to be honest. Um, I do like it. I mean, it's nice to have options. Like they're giving us so many options. Like I've never seen a developer in any simulator or game 
come out with all the variations of a plane. Like, there's all the variations of the 787, all the variations of the CRJ, all the variations of the 777, you know what I mean? All the variations of the A320s and their family, you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy that they come, like, most games or simulators, like, for example, X-Plane, I have, I have a, a uh, add-on for the CRJ200. That's it. There is no 1000, there is no 700, no all the other variants. It's only that one. Um, and that's why I was like kind of surprised that Infinite Flight focused uh, on bringing all the variants of the planes that they offer. So, like, if you see a CRJ, there's going to be all the CRJs. If they're going to bring in another type of aircraft, they're going to bring in all the variants of that aircraft. Alright, time for me to pay attention to you guys on chat. What's going on? What, what questions did I miss? Oh, I haven't been looking up until now. So if you had a question I didn't answer it, uh, go ahead and uh, hit me up right now. Is this the cruise speed Mach 0.8? It is, and I haven't been paying attention to that. What is our cruise speed right now? We are at 7.6, so I'm going to speed up. I'm going to go faster than that because we have no space behind us right now. Let's take a look at the map. See what traffic looks like around us. Uh, I'm gonna speed up for you guys that are behind me. I am going a bit slow. I once I took off, I re I went like 285 knots and stopped paying attention. <laughs> so I had uh, no idea what my speeds were. So we're almost halfway though. Short flight today. You can already see all the traffic inbound and outbound from Madrid right now. Plus we got our little group here. And we're going to be doing some shoutouts here pretty soon. I don't know what's up with Air, uh, Infinite Flight Assistant. It's just not working. Wait, A2. Right, we're going to go faster. Again, I'm going to go faster because they're so tight behind me. And I want to I make spacing for those guys. Uh, funny story. Yesterday I was flying on X-Plane. And I was flying on the VAT7 network. And uh, it was a center controller on. I had the same similar situation. The issue was, though, the plane that was behind me, um, he didn't have a lot of spacing. He wasn't flying with me. He just happened to be flying to the same airport. And um, he wasn't listening. He wasn't listening. He was probably AFK. He wasn't on the radio. And the uh, controller told me to go, like, as fast as possible so I can get away from him uh, so that we can have some spacing going into uh, our destination. Uh, Lindsay, what time will my stream end when the flight ends? So when we land and all that, um, we'll head out. We have one flight planned today. I'm hoping to get on the ground soon enough to work on some other things. So we shall see. Um, again, expecting a lot of traffic in Madrid. I'm probably going to have, you know, hopefully we won't have to hold, but I will be expecting a lot of vectors. So be patient when we get there. And uh, again, I'm going to remind you guys, please give space to the aircraft ahead of you. So if you're tight on somebody, slow down or something, make it happen. Ten miles or more. It's a goal. So, so I'm going to basically speed up as fast as I can go right here. Which is really fast for a CRJ. We're going to Mach 0.88. Holy crap. Will there be a Friday night flight stream this week? Uh, I hope. I hope. I was planning on it. But if everything goes as planned, I, there will be a Friday night flight stream this week. So just stay tuned for that. Also, you can check out Live Flight if you want to track our flight over in the uh, Spain area. I believe we're flying or about to be flying over Valencia. The beach of Valencia is below us. Here it is. It's been a while, man, since I've flown in Spain. A long time. Some great views out here. 
I'm tr I see you, Justin. I'm trying to speed up to get to make some spacing because I know you're squeezed behind me right now. I'm trying to speed up to make more spacing behind me because you guys are all cluttered together. I'm not sure exactly how far back you are. I'm about to go redline, <laughs> trying to get out get out of here. We were real close to it. Real close to it. I think that'll be about as fast as I can go right now. Our ground speed is 504 knots. Uh, we do have a headwind though, 37 knots. Going Mach point nine or zero. Holy. What up, Nathan? Good to see you, man. Welcome back. No problem, man. Join whenever you can. Thomas wants to see the map. Yeah, no problem. I think I was just looking at that. Yeah, so about the flower of Valencia now. Uh, for you guys who had just joined us, we took off out of Palma de Mallorca. We are headed west to Madrid, Spain. Beautiful departure out of Palma as usual. I love flying in and out of there. It's really pretty. Right now, we just flew over Valencia now, making a right turn to the northwest, which is going to be behind us. Let's take a look at this crazy traffic. You can see there's vectors happening everywhere. What is the active runway? It looks to me like they are landing to the north, and I think they are using... Yeah, so I see Air Portugal 266. He's landing on 3-2 left. So it looks like they're using 3-2 left and 3-2 right for arrivals. And they're using 3-6 left and 3-6 right for departures. And if we click on that, let's see if we can actually see who is controlling for us. We have five ATC online. We have ground, tower, departure, and approach. All different people. <laughs> So I don't think anybody's sharing any of the responsibility right now. So I think this is all just kind of like the normal one person on each. So it may not be busy enough just yet for them to uh, have like multiple controllers doing things. I don't know. Let's see. We have a lot of arrivals. I believe Mark has a group flight as well flying in from somewhere. Uh, they had an hour and a half flight, a little bit longer than ours. Um, we might get there around the same time. They took off about a half hour before we did. Alright, so before we gotta like think about descent and stuff like that, let's go ahead and start talking about um shout outs. Let's find out who we got flying with us. I'm gonna go down the list like we used to do back in the day. Alright, so first up, we got Air No Air no I don't know how to say that. <laughs> we got IFEP Fruit leading the way right ahead of us and behind us we got blue 120 aka justin shout out to him behind that we got 0754 that's raven then we have ifmg matt l uh Jurgis. thank you all for flying with us and then we got a nice gap and after that gap we got 570 aka hurricane and we got a nice little uh information flight here uh pro pilot and who's the other guy? Come on. The other guy. And Thomas. Thanks for flying with us today, buddy. And after that, we got Benter 2907, Nathan Cullen, Iberia, Iberia 167, as do. 981, which is Iris Aviation. Thanks for flying with us today. Captain Fami. 1930, Carter Air. And Ryan Air, I'm not sure if he's with us, but I'm going to go ahead and shout him out. Alexander <laughs> Capel, North Shuttle 1617, NL Robert. What up, bro? We got a few more people taking off out of Palma. I'm going to give all y'all shout outs. We got Swift Aviation, Maple Foe, Ron. Welcome, my friend. And then we got one more on the ground. And that's like Swiss. Just Swiss. That's all his name says. <laughs> so shout out to you, bro. And I don't think this guy's with us, but PH Lap. Thank all you guys who are flying with us. Uh, this was like a spare of the moment stream and flight. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We we're getting a little too close now to walking fruit. Let's see, his speed is 508. His speed is 328. Why, why are you going so slow? 
<laughs> Why are you going so slow? I, I fixed one situation and now we're in another. Good thing we started early. I feel like the whole flight, all you're trying to do is space yourself. It's like flying in a formation. You're just like watching everybody else, making sure that you're not um, in the way. Um, so what do you want to do about this walking fruit? I know you're in here. <laughs> we're going fast as heck, 590 knots, and I think we're close enough to actually see you now. How high is he? Is that him? That's him right there. And we got, yeah, so we're going to need Justin to slow down. We're about to, I'm about to just, I'm, I'm just going to pass you, bro. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm just going to pass you. What, what altitude is he at? Same altitude. So we're just going to pass you. You can maintain the same speed. We're just going to go with him, blow by you. Because I'm already, I already got too much momentum to slow down and slow up behind you. So we're going to fly over you. And there he goes. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to slow down to 8 2. Now that we're by him. And we'll see. We'll, we'll reassess the situation later on as we get closer to our destination. We are only 18. Uh, yeah, 18 minutes out, it says. Uh, we're going to need to start thinking about descent here. Let's see, if they're, if they're using... I mean, it doesn't even matter, to be honest. Um, I'm probably going to want to contact ATC somewhere around 11,000. What is the airport elevation of Madrid? Let's find out. I'm going to use my charts here. Find out what the airport elevation is. Because it might be high. See elevation in Madrid is I could have looked at I could have easily <laughs> looked inside of Infinite Flight. My bad, I forgot. I'm so used to using charts and outside resources for stuff like that. Alright, so it is exactly what the chart says, one thousand nine hundred and ninety eight, which is about two thousand feet. So keep that in mind when you're just choosing what altitude you're gonna descend to. So two thousand basically is the airfields uh is the airfields uh, elevation, so uh, usually pattern height is like 1,500 to 2,000 feet above that. Um, but when we contact approach, I'm going to want to be at a decent altitude. We're probably going to go down to like 15, 11 to 15,000 feet uh, once we contact him. I want to contact him early. There's so much traffic. I want to make sure that he uh, has plenty of time to do what he has to do when he uh, vectors, us, vectors us. So... You can see blue 120 also passed him up. And you know, he's going 507, so okay. Fix this. People ain't slowing down. We're just going to go back to where we're at. We're going to go back to uh, Mach 9.9. We'll just stick to that. And we'll start descending. I mean, we could start descending now, to be honest with you. Matter of fact, I will. Might be early. I'm gonna start descending. I am gonna go down to let's go down to 15,000 first. Actually, we're gonna go to 14 because we're going west, so we need to be at an even number. So we're gonna go to 14,000 first, and vertical speed is gonna be about I don't know 1,200. We'll see how that sets us up. I'm not using a uh, arrival chart or anything. I'm just kind of guessing, to be honest with you. Uh, a lot of people always ask, how do you know when to descend? I usually guess. That's just not me. <laughs> is walking fruit like AFK? Is he just like flying? <laughs> Justin says, I would slow down, but the problem is there's four pods behind me who also won't slow down. <laughs> so... I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, because walking through, where'd he go? He was up front. Yeah, he's nursed from one. And now all three of us have passed him. And you're going 506. Okay, cool. So just maintain your speed. Just whatever you're doing, just stay there. Whatever you're doing, just stay there. And then uh, we'll make it work. We'll make it work.
Nice, Murfinator. You did a flight for Sin Buddy and made 181,000. That's a lot. I don't know if I've ever made that much yet. Flight. Can you have a Fanta and noodles? Yes, sir. We're serving Fanta on all my flights. As well as noodles. <laughs> uh, I believe everybody should have the update now. Uh, Nickel, I think we, we might get right ahead of the uh, Flash Flight people who were... Uh, I think Mark's Flash Flight might get right ahead of them. I think this is them up here. Technically, we'll be kind of entering... Eh, we'll probably kind of like merge in together, to be honest. We'll probably all be shuffled up once we get on the ground. Uh, Killer, though, the update, I talked about it earlier. Uh, they just basically added two new ver uh, variations of the CRJ to 200 and the 1000, as well as a few uh, user interface updates like the systems up here. Now this is new. Uh, the way this shows up is new. Um, there's some updates to ATC side of things. And what else? I've already forgot <laughs> what the updates were. I already forgot them. Um, if you have any questions on what exactly updated, you could uh, go to Infinite Flight's forum. It's actually very active and pretty easy. Of all forums out there, I, I'm not a forum person. I don't really like forums. I don't like fishing through for forums, looking through forums. But I have to say, Infinite Flight actually does a very good job of keeping their forum pretty darn clean. Um, but yeah, so in addition to that, a lot of updates, though. I mean, I'm sorry, a lot of livery updates came with the uh, with the update. And there's also, I think, some bug fixes for some, some of the other planes. Because I had a lot of other planes that I needed to update when the update came out. So just open it up see what's up. Wow, it took you 30 minutes to get everybody out of there. I assume you were controlling. Yeah, somebody uh, opened up in uh, Alma, surprisingly. So thank you to them for helping us get out of there safely. I'm actually going to see if I can contact them now. Let's go ahead and see if we can contact uh, ATC. Great approach. We got Dennis online. Turn left, heading 360. Descend and maintain 5,000. Maintain 5,000 until it's finished. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. I don't care. We'll take the ILS since it's so busy. 116 is 54 nautical miles east of Torrigin at 26,400 feet. Requesting ILS approach any runway at Adolfo Suarez. Saudia 551, turn right heading 360. Turn right heading 220, Air France 89. November 171 Sierra Kilo, turn right heading 180. November 171 Sierra Kilo, do not exceed 220 knots. Do not exceed 220 knots. November 171 Sierra Kilo. Air Nostrum 1370. Man, Spain is just a beautiful country. Turn right heading 360, Saudi 551. Turn right heading 280. Now, so I've already reached out to approach. Let them know we're in, inbound and uh, we'll Turn see right what they tell us to do. I'm pretty sure, judging Turn by right what's going on ahead of us, it looks like he is going to vector Turn us right to the. I don't know. I think he's going to vector us to the south. Like to follow uh, 1370 here. That's what I think he's going to do. Blue 116. Expect vectors for the Isles approach runway 32 left at Adolfo Suarez. 32 left it is. Roger. Blue 116. All right. 310 down to 12,000. Descend and maintain 12,000. Blue 120. 310. Turn right heading 310. Descend and maintain 12,000. But actually, I was Look, wrong. He's sending us up north. Turn left, heading 360. Descend and maintain 5,000. Maintain 5,000 until established on the local One thing I forgot to do, too, is I didn't turn out the, the seatbelts. <laughs> well. November 171 Sierra Kilo. Turn right, heading 270. Turn left, heading 360. Descend and maintain 5,000. Maintain 5,000 until established on the localizer. Uh, Wisdom Nazi, they're working on reworking a lot of planes, so don't worry, they're just doing one plane at a time, they reworked the uh, CRJ and 
added what's crazy is that they reworked the crj which they only had the 200 version and then they added like three four other versions of it so it's pretty cool so i'm excited about the future reworks i know they'll be doing some boeing reworks they'll do some airbus reworks so don't worry guys it's coming it's coming Turn right heading 050, November 551 Whiskey Hotel, Madrid Approach, Iberia 721, with you. Uh, Kate Stout, there is no ATC Center currently in Infinite Flight. Uh, they actually mentioned that in a podcast they did at Flight Sim uh, Expo. Um, I can't remember word for word what they said, but there are some challenges that they have with setting up uh, center controllers. So right now there's no center controllers. I don't know if they're trying to work on getting it. I don't know how important it would be to have them. Personally, I think it would be nice. Um, but currently there's no center controllers. Aiden13547, good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. Madrid Approach, Transovid 705, with you. Turn right heading 090. Saudi 551. United 346. Turn right heading 230. Descend and maintain 5000. November 551 Whiskey Hotel. Yeah, I heard Braley. I, again, um, with all the updates, I mean, just think about this. Think about this. So I know a lot of people are requesting a lot of things. Think about the quality of the CRJ series. All right. Think about the CRJ family and the quality. Like, this is the quality that they're going for for all the reworks for all the reworks and for all the new aircraft that are coming out in the future as well as you can tell um, currently there's no clickable cockpits or anything like that in the aircraft at the at na, as of now but they're thinking of the future and you can tell that the way these buttons look they're all 3d um, they're all set up so that in the future, you know, if they're able to do it, they can make all these buttons actually turn and work and do things. So they're setting it up. You know, they're doing a lot of things that we don't know about, I believe. Like they're doing a lot of. Um, we had 12,000 yet. Why are we going? Close. Um, uh, they're doing a lot of like like developer stuff i don't know how to say it <laughs> but you know like stuff like underground stuff stuff in the background and we don't really know like in the systems wise to make these aircraft um so they can do more things in the future so like for example like the crj has all these buttons that don't work but you can see that it looks like they could probably the way they set it up easily make them animate in the future make them clickable when that's possible so um they're pretty much making it to this quality for other aircraft so like the md11 that came out same quality as this so i think starting at the technically before then i think they already got started on getting things up to this quality so when you see the new planes come out you know you're going to see them at this quality they have this one has the cabin views which we looked at earlier doesn't somebody has a jump seat view now which is pretty cool uh, which you could expect in any new plane they come out with now somebody said there's lights where are the lights there's still lights i think you're rid of that or maybe maybe you don't turn them on maybe they turn themselves on okay i think it has to be dark let's see yeah there we go i've never actually got to see the lights yeah there's interior lights in the plane like that's legit man come on <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see that it's kind of dark on the screen there's interior lights that's freaking dope and all the crjs have that let's go with the current so expect I, I expect like I mean they're setting the bar a lot higher now in Infinite Flight, and I expect this type of quality for every aircraft that is released from now on. You know, if they're gonna rework something, I expect it to be this nice or nicer. So if they eventually do the A330, it's gonna be this quality. If they do the A350, which everybody wants, this quality. If they rework the 737, the Boeing's, it's gonna be this quality. So I expect it to be, you know, the quality's gonna be up there, man. So let's take a look at some more of these views. Jump seat, cockpit left, cockpit right. Turn left 270. Hold on. November 1, Tango Romeo is 49. Turn left, heading 270, blue 116. Yes, I'm a big fan of cabin views because I don't know why, and I'm pretty sure more people are like this too, but 
whenever I'm flying, even in a simulator, like I like to have the view that I would usually have in real life as a passenger to be able to look out the out the window. I love window seats. Like window seat versus the cockpit view is very tough for me to decide. I mean, obviously I want to be flying the plane, but as far as like the visual, I love being able to see the wing. From the cockpit, you can't see the wing. You know, you can't see the flaps come out. You can't see the spoilers come out. You can't see the reverse thrust on the on a, on a uh, twin engine. So I love it. Uh, Crown of Jewels. The Discord. Uh, one of the one of the Mods can post a Discord link in chat for you guys if you want to join our Discord. Uh, Kyle Jonas, distance to the ground, we are right now 12,000 MSL. Roger, Tango Uniform India 8,000 feet up. Turn right heading two seven zero. It's time to get on the ground, guys. Uh, where do we park? Great and question. Take a look at the map room. Um, airport's pretty busy. Well, it's very busy towards the north of the airport, which is where all the taxiways are. We need to take a look at the chart to find out where exactly the terminals are. So it looks like the terminal is right over, like, between these two runways. Like, where he is, that's where the terminal is. There's actually two. There's Terminal 4 and, ter no, four and 4 Sierra. Binter 297 is 46 um, nautical miles east of Torrigen at 26,000 feet. We'll probably land 32 left, exit uh, Charlie Roger. Sierra. Oh, there's another terminal down here, too. So we could just park on the south side of the airport, guys. It'll probably be, it looks like it's a lot less busy down there. So there's a, when, as soon as you, if you're landing 32 left, there will be a terminal to the direct left of that of that runway if you're landing three to right you're gonna have a pretty long taxi right left two two th two two zero down nine thousand let's get our speed down before we do that don't forget to get the speed down. Now 235. I think we're already facing 220, are we? No, we're not ready to turn. Let's take a look at the map to see how we're being vectored now. We are to the north of the airport, so he's probably going to fly us to the north, have us fly, s make a left turn down south. Kind of loop around till we get back over here for a left downwind ish for uh, runway 32 left. Winter 297, turn left, heading 310. Turn right, heading 310. Golf November 1, Tango Romeo. Iberia 167, turn right, heading 330. Turn right, heading 330. Iberia 100. Yeah, so for parking, I'm going to be parking at the south terminal to the left the three two left um, there's another terminal right at the end of one four left sorry not one four left at the end of three two right so right up here where this plane is is another terminal and there's a terminal here so the terminal here here and here and we're gonna be parking here that's where i'm planning to park unless things change might be kind of tough for all of us to get together. Alright, speed's down. Let's go down to 9,000. As instructed by ATC. I just want to make sure my speed was down before we descended. Actually, is it down? Let's check. Systems, HUD. Yeah, we're good. We're at 230. Hopefully our spacing is a little better this time. <laughs> Turn Working right on it. heading three six zero, Corina nine hundred and thirteen heavy. Turn right heading three five zero, Air Nostrum one thousand three. Again, guys, please respect ATC. Ghosting will be enforced. If you still have not contacted approach, please make spacing between you and the aircraft in front of you ten miles or more, please. As you can see another massive group flight is flying in right now. 
turn right heading two three zero. So we, it looks like we got in, got in right before the worst of it too. <laughs> nice. Turn right heading one Perfect timing. November one seven. Alright, about to go down below ten thousand so we can go in and turn. Oh my god. I keep forgetting where things are. We can turn our landing lights on. And our logo lights. Requesting aisles approach any runway at Adolfo Suarez. Blue one twenty, turn left heading one seven zero. Air Nostrum 570, turn right heading 320. Iberius here, right Jay's right parked to the parking in the left of the airport. Turn left heading 170, blue okay. We're still going to go south. Turn left heading zero six Looks like the bigger zero. terminal is the one you're talking about, though, the one to the left over there. Saudi 551, turn right heading 320, Air Nostrum 570. Air Nostrum 9078 is 42 What's up, uh, nautical Kamani, miles east of Torrigin at 17,400 feet. Requesting welcome, welcome. flight following Again, guys, I've been doing my best to try to keep a chat and everything. Fly, multitask. Alright, so the airport right now is off our left wing. Off in the distance. Is there any left wing views? But not that kind of left wing. That's not what I meant. There we go. Can't quite see the ship. Alright, leveling off though, at 9,000. It was a good looking plane, I gotta say. I think I kinda like the longer version better. Short version. Visually. Lame kid, yeah, we were on expert server. As usual. Kamani from Jamaica, thank you, bro. Welcome. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. I agree, Ace. Uh, as mobile devices get more advanced, this game or simulator, whichever you prefer to call it, will definitely get a whole lot better. And so I think that's really what's only the only thing holding it back Michael, I'm only a thousand above you right now cool. I just think it's the only thing holding it back right now is the mobile like they're still trying I don't know if this is true but they're still trying to make things work for some of the older devices so like for me on, on iPhone 10 if they were to make the game specifically for iPhone and I don't know this for sure or maybe like the, the latest Android phone they could probably do a whole lot more all right left one three zero eight thousand blue one sixteen Air Nostrum 556 is 47 nautical miles southeast of Robladillo de Mojinando at 24,500 feet, requesting aisles approach any runway at Adolfo Suarez. Blue 120, turn left, Go. heading 160, descend and maintain 8,500. Turn left, heading 130, descend and maintain 8,000, blue 116. Looks like Justin's not gonna get a uh, get the good old hold today. <laughs> uh, Gerald, when was this released? Today, a few hours ago. Thank you, Alfie. Uh, he says there is some severe turbulence reported low to the ground in Madrid, so I'll have to uh, watch out for that. What time is it here locally at my place? It is 1 p.m. I think I, one thing I love about flying in like busy airspaces is I love being able to spot the strobe lights and landing lights from afar of people out around us. I wonder if we can set up our ILS already. Yep, there it is, 3 2 left. Air Nostrum 981. Turn here our map is pretty busy around us. Descend and maintain 6,000. Air China 200. See, it looks like a uh, blue 120 is about Turn 400 left, feet above us. Descend and maintain 9,000. Air Nostrum 500. He's probably going faster than us. 1948. Contact GCA on 125.3. 
<laughs> Don't jinx it. Kyle Jonas, I am from Houston, Texas. Contacting GCA on 125.3, ALL 1948. Which is a United Hub. It's an intercontinental. Kilo India Alpha Hotel. This is the airport ICO. Major airport ICO near me. Alright guys, looks like we're going to be on the ground pretty soon. Let's make sure that uh, we're cabin is prepared for landing. We got our seatbelt signs which never went off. Um, no smoking signs are on. All the lights are on. FPV is on even though we don't know what it does. Our HUD is... I'm going to turn that on to regular. Engines are in the green looking good. There's no rain so we're not going to use our wipers. Iberia 167, turn right heading 290, descend and maintain 9000. Turn right heading 290, descend and Thank you for the follow on IG. Iberia I do appreciate it. Corina 913 heavy, turn right heading 0. And yes, my favorite aircraft is a 787. If you don't know, now you know. Classical cubing, you're in Dallas? Dope, bro. I love Dallas. I don't like driving there. It feels it's a very long, boring drive between Houston and Dallas. I don't mind flying there. Turn right heading 360, Air France 1000. So this, so far, I, I don't want to jinx it like he said, but I, so far, uh, hold on, left 1106,000, but uh, ATC is doing a great job, great job, a lot of traffic out here, and I mean, he, I mean, ho hopefully he hasn't forgotten about anybody, but he's been doing it, since we've contacted him, it has gone very well, very smooth. I really haven't had to worry about anything. Our vectors have been spotless. We'll see what kind of vector he gives us for the ILS, uh, for intercept. But uh, it's looking good. Everybody seems pretty spread out. There's a lot of craziness, but I'm pretty sure there's some organization, organization to this madness we see on screen. So good job to the approach controller. Uh, my job next is to get this plane on the ground safely and smoothly. But as long as I can do that, I think this flight's going to be pretty good. And as long as we don't have to go around, too. I don't want to have to go around. Yeah, we don't know, Captain Shammy. I've been hoping that somebody in chat would just happen to know what FP, was it? FPV means. <laughs> we have yet to find out what that means. As soon as I find out, I will let you know. Is my computer pre-built? Uh, oh, hold on. Turn right one four zero. Turn right heading one four zero. Turn right heading one four zero. Blue one sixteen. LL nineteen forty eight. Turn right heading three two zero. Uh yes, I had my computer custom made. But I did not physically build it with my own hands. I am not that. I'm not that guy. I know a lot about computers and how to do a lot of stuff on the computer, but I'm not like the, the guy who really builds them physically. And I was like, you know what? I think I would just trust somebody else to do this. Because then that way, if something goes wrong, I know that it was not my fault. Thank you for reminding me. Change my VS. It should be zero. <laughs> I'm going to take some of this trim out. Contacting GCA on 125.3, Transovid 705. November 1 Kilo Bravo, contact GCA on 125.3. Contacting GCA on 125.3. Oh, you hear that? Contact GCA. Sounds like. GCA on 125.3, November 1 Kilo Bravo. just opened up another uh, frequency. Turn right heading 050, Madrid approach. November Hope they did. No, no, they didn't. With you. November one seven one Sierra Kilo, turn left heading. Before when we first came, there was de there was departure approach tower and ground. Now we just have approach tower and ground. But never mind. I thought that they opened up an uh, extra control. Do not exceed two two zero knots. Turn left heading three six zero. Descend and maintain five thousand. Maintain five thousand until established on the localizer. Cleared Isles Runway 32 left, November 171 Sierra Killer. Turn right heading 090, calling a 913 heavy. Young gamer, I do have infinite passengers. 
I have not, honestly, I have not used it in a while. Uh, I would like to use it again. No, just for some reason I have some connection issues. I need to, f I need to, I need to figure it out because I have an airline on Infinite Passenger that I, f I feel like I've been neglecting. Like I bought all the planes. We've made enough money to buy all the planes, uh, even the most updated ones, except the 209 or no, except the nine, no, the 1,000. Uh, we have all the updated planes on Infinite Passenger for our airline, uh, but I haven't really flown for it in a while. I made a bunch of routes and stuff. Turn left zero five zero. Turn left, heading zero five zero. And uh, yeah, I want to get I want to get back into it. It makes it, it for me personally. Whenever I'm flying, it's the same way with Infinite Flight or with X Plane. I like to have a reason to fly. You know, like right now, my reason to fly is I'm flying with you guys. <laughs> I'm flying. I'm streaming. But when I'm flying, just me, I need to have a little bit more of a reason to fly. Obviously, I enjoy flying. I, I enjoy flying. And my other reason is to see the scenery. But I also like to kind of simulate that hey I have passengers on board I'm trying to make money I'm trying to run an uh, airline I'm trying to be successful airline you know I, mean, I like that kind of idea so that's why you see me using somebody FS economy on X plane uh, you see me using infinite passenger on, on, um, on infinite flight to kind of give a little extra um, thing to it looks like we're gonna be next up maybe we're three two left let's see if we get vectors here pretty soon so we have one plane, two planes somehow <laughs> on final for 3 2 left. Not sure how that's possible. And we should be number three. So far, our flight time is 58 minutes. There we go. That's the call. Turn left, heading 350. Descend and maintain 5000. Maintain 5000 until established on the localizer. Clear Vials runway 32 left approach. Blue 120. Turn I'm not going to repeat all that right now. I'm just going to do it. Turn left, heading 350. Descend and maintain 5,000. Maintain 5,000 until established on the localizer. Cleared aisles runway 32 left. All right, spoilers are armed. Bringing the speed back. Uh, localizer uh, CRS is going to be 323. That's going to be our heading we'll be looking to make for the final approach. Let me go ahead and get situated. Pick up my phone and calibrate my screen. Be ready for arrival. Check systems real quick. All the lights are on like we already checked earlier. Systems are green. And you can see the localizer right there, so we can go ahead and switch to heading. Oh, we're already on heading mode, so we're gonna turn to three, two, three to try to line up. We already up. Oh, we overshot it. <laughs> we overshot it already. Oh, that quick. That quick. So we overshot the lo localizer, but it's okay. We can correct. We're still a ways out, and we're descending down to five thousand. Uh, we're just below the glide slope, and we are 14 miles out. I'm gonna slow down to 210. Laps one. Thank you, Swiss 001, for the uh, for the uh, donation, bro. Thank you for stopping by and supporting the stream. I really do appreciate that, bro. Big shouts. Let's land the plane, baby. We're dropping the gear down here pretty soon. I could use approach mode, actually. Let's do that. <laughs> Why not? Why not use approach mode? At least for a little bit, just to get us lined up, and then maybe we'll, maybe we'll fly it in by hand. Wind is five knots. They said reports were... There was some turbulence low to the ground. I don't see that just yet. There's a five knot direct crosswind though. We are just under the glide slope and perfectly on the localizer now that we're using the ILS. And I'm gonna go gear down. I contact tower. I was expecting that. Jensen, thank you so much. Approach. I didn't get a chance to say it in game. When call inbound, landing runway three two left. Gears down, slow speed down. We're eight miles out. Holy crap! Number one, runway three two left. Clear land. Blue 116. Runway three two left. Blue 116. 
Number one. Everything's Runway happening really fast now. Bulls are armed. Gear is down. Three green. Flaps are at eight. Speed's coming down. I'm go to flaps twenty. Frequency change approved. Good day. Frequency change approved. Zulu seven. Good day. Alright guys, say your prayers before we land, because you never know how it's going to go on Blue Game Stream. It may be smooth, or it may be rough. <laughs> Either way, if we make it safely, we made it. Go to 135. I don't know if that's too slow or too fast. We're going to try it. Thank you, Voltanic Mercury, also with the Super Chat donation, bro. Thank you guys so much for supporting the stream. I really do appreciate it. Hope you know that. Speed's coming back. We're going to go full flaps. We'll be exiting left. I have my chart. We'll be exiting left um, on Sierra. Charlie Sierra, which you can't actually see in-game because there's no taxi signs, but that's okay. Uh oh, here comes the stall. Hold on to it, plane. Yeah, my speed might be a little bit faster because we're a little heavy. We're a little heavy. Uh-uh, don't do that. This is a really bad time for you to decide to stall. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what a stall looks like. Okay, autopilot is engaged. We're taking control. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Let's see if we can recover. Oh, we're so high now. I'm not sure why he said that. I'm really not sure why he said that. Okay. I will check the forums for ATC assistance on yeah, we're, this is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. This is really bad, guys. Just want you to know that. This is really, really bad. <laughs> Holy crap, this is bad. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. That was like the worst landing I have done in a very long time. <laughs> wow. So apparently ATC says I need to check tutorials for ATC instruct for how to talk to ATC or something. <laughs> Exit runway when able and contact ground. Oh cool. Traffic on final. So where's the exit? It's an exit there. That's a very awkward exit. Can we get it? Take that. Uh, I can't get that one. Alright, we'll take the next one. It's the one we were planning for, anyways. That was such a horrible landing. Such a horrible landing. <laughs> that was, I'm just tripping on how bad that landing was. Like, we in real life, we would have died. Like, the plane would not be able to handle it. That was like a th above 600 feet per minute landing right there. It was, it was bad. Ink. I know traffic's on final. I'm trying to get off the runway as soon as I can. I'm at 34 knots taxiing right now. I'm trying to get out of the way as soon as I can. There's a whole short line. There we go. Well, guys, <laughs> we made it. It wasn't pretty. It was not pretty. But we made it. Let's contact ground. Press taxi to parking. Adolfo Suarez ground. So, so, Alright, so we still gonna park. I almost wanna redo to that, to be honest. Taxi to parking. Right, our parking's gonna be back there. Taxiing to parking, Blue 116. That was nuts. <laughs> Well, I'm fired from Iberia Airlines. Last time you'll see me in Spain. Yeah, a lot of things went wrong at the worst time we could possibly go wrong. 
Yeah, that wasn't butter. That was like somebody picked up the toes and just smashed it with a hammer. That was glazed and butter. <laughs> That's what that landing was. There's a lot of memes of what that landing was. I'm trying to think of them right now. So bad. So bad. Adolfo's La Restaurant, Foxtrot Echo Delta One Super, ready Not perfect with blue effect. I know, right? Where's the replay when you need it? I would love, love, love to see that replay. Doesn't the CRJ have wing flex too? Remember. I think it has wing flex. Yeah, it has wing flex. So we would have definitely saw in the wing flex of how horrible that landing was. We'll park next to this uh, Iberia plane right here. <laughs> I'm just tripping. All right, so we're going to park, guys. Uh, and uh, um, I'll watch a few planes land here. We'll do a little bit of uh, spotting. I have probably 10 minutes I can spare you guys before I need to leave. Thank you again, Swiss001, for the donation and the super chat. It says community.if.com slash approach types. <laughs> Check out. I assume it's a video. Appreciate you coming by, bro. Oh, man. My heart is still beating fast from that. Like, I feel like I've, I feel like I've, I felt like my butt is hurting from that freaking landing. Like, I feel like I still feel it. I, engine's off. Let's deboard the plane. People are probably dizzy right now trying to get off. Uh, Seatbelt's off. Land light strobe lights off. And beacon's off. Thank you. Good day. Thank you. Who was that? Um, Jeffrey, hopefully you didn't see my landing. Fox hopefully you weren't watching. Miscellaneous messages. Thank you. Good day. Thank you. Good day. Blue 116. I like to be polite to our controllers. They do this for free. Make sure you guys definitely at any time. Not in game though. I don't recommend you like spam chat or not chat. Spam the radios with saying thank you. I'm just saying if you ever see a controller on the forums or anything like that, definitely it's you know let them know that you respect them and say thank you for providing their service. All right, we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, get off of frequency for now I'm gonna go into free camera here and then we're gonna jump over to three two left and watch some approaches hopefully uh, they'll land a lot better than I did and it will just say that you know what I'll do is I'll record somebody else's landing in the same plane and then just say it was me <laughs> Alright, so this is three two left right here. Thank you Voltana Mercury for another super chat donation man you guys are coming through today appreciate it man Appreciate it. Uh oh, I think it's stuck. I think it's stuck. I can't stop moving. <laughs> oh, my free camera is stuck and I can't stop moving. I'll switch and go. My free camera is stuck. So you might know how to fix that. It's like stuck in auto scroll. Not good. I mean, it looks kind of cool, like a little flyby, but I don't want to do. Oh, I thought I did it. Okay, well, plan B. Plan B. Plan B is to end flight. <laughs> Hit OK, and then go back to the gate at LP. What is it? LPMD? Is that what it is? Is that right? Is that wrong? That's, that's that feels wrong. What airport are we? What airport were we just at? L E M D. My bad, guys. L E M D. Like what the heck? I did double tap, and double tapping wasn't working. So we're just gonna spawn over here somewhere. Sorry if I messed up you guys' a screenshot. Hit fly, and that way I can use free camera. Oh, what the heck? 
look at this, guys. I just um, found a glitch. <laughs> if you made it this far, you are rewarded with this glitch. We are now in another world. We are now on Mercury. I'm just kidding. I don't know what planet is blue. Pluto. Straight out departures only landing runways three two. That's left, funny. Three, That's two, right. yeah. Departing runways three two. Right, left, I'm gonna like three, try to in flight and come back and see. Right advise on initial contact. You have information, Juliet. We're gonna try to load in again. I think what did we park earlier? Try to park next to you guys and not be anti oh oh here we go. Anti social. Check the forums for blah blah blah. This is so funny. I, what, what did I do? What did I do to deserve that call? Like I was on the final. He gave me the clear. All I was doing was approaching horribly. And then he said, check the whatever for whatever. And I was like, okay. I honestly think that's the reason I crashed. All right, let's get out of ATIS. Get out of the ATIS. Let me get out of your ATIS. And go to free camera, which should be working now. Okay, cool. All I want to do is watch planes land. It's so freaking difficult. Um, actually, before we do that, let's go check out the departures. Like, big a bunch of de departures over here at... Oh, actually, there's not really a lot of departures. So we'll just watch the land. We got a parallel landing happening right now. Three two left, three two right. But we have a plane on the runway, which means somebody might have to go around. I don't see anybody yet. Oh, there he is. Yep, I think he just got told to go around because he's ascending. And his gear is up, so he got told to go around. That sucks. Yeah, because that plane didn't get out the runway quick enough, and so he was told to go around. Alright, anybody else on final? Yeah, I saw Skyhawk. Oh, that's Skyhawk Heavy. I thought that was just Skyhawk. I thought, I didn't realize it didn't say Heavy on it. Skyhawk Heavy, welcome to Madrid. In the needle. We have a while until the next arrival too. Uh, here we go. We got a beer 167 coming in. Let's see how he does. Hopefully he does better than me. Like I said, we're gonna watch a few landings and then you know we'll uh I'll bounce. I have just a couple more minutes and I gotta go. But thank you guys so much. I'm just gonna say that now. Thank you guys so much for um for watching, for flying with us, for joining in. Uh thank you, Infinite Flight, for the update. Thank you everybody who donated today. Thank you for all the new subscribers. I do appreciate it. Fear TV, what's up, man? Good to see you. It, this looks like me right here. This looks like me. <laughs> I was I was also short. Did you guys realize that I was I was short? I was just a little bit short of the runway. That was a rough one. That was a rough one. Not as bad as me. My landing was a whole lot worse than that, but that was rough. Definitely rough. Welcome to Madrid. Turn left when able. Contact ground. Young Pete. Yes, sir. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Not the real Skyhawk Heavy. <laughs> it, might, it might not be. I think anybody can choose to be Skyhawk Heavy, I think. Brian is 22.5 miles out. Like I said, I can't wait for everybody. I'm sorry. I wish I could watch all you guys land. Wish I could. Uh, I got a. I actually have a race that I need to do. There's a on iRacing. There's a NASCAR iRacing series race happening in 30 minutes, and I haven't even practiced. So I'm gonna have to like as soon as I finish this this uh stream, jump over there and uh, get some practice in on a track that I'm pretty familiar with. But you know. Try to get lower here. I'll get a lower perspective. Well, Tenant Mercury, no, I will not be able to join you in Phoenix. 
right now, but thank you for the uh, request. <laughs> that landing, though, man, that was a horrible landing. Uh, hopefully, I'll be streaming Friday Night Flight, so which is tomorrow. Yeah. Five miles out. We got three, two right. He's a bit closer. We'll watch one more approach and then I gotta go. How about that? Turn the music up a little bit. Uh, Michigan, actually. I did walk in Glen last week. So we have Michigan day. Open race. Sadly, I didn't get a chance to uh, edit the. Um, Watkins Glen Rice, there he is. Oh, Jesus. This looks like my approach right here. Oh, my God. I think this is worth the wait. Are you okay? Is the pilot alive? I'll be freaking out right now. Oh, jeez. Come on. Uh, oh. oh, no. Is he... Did he make it? Did he, did he, is he in the grass? <laughs> oh, my God. What up, Nathan? Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Where's he going? All right, guys. Runway 32 left is closed. There's too many planes crashing. There's, uh, if you're flying to Madrid, you're only going to land at 32 right because we broke the runway. There's there's like a crater at the, at the beginning of runway 32 left. So, yeah. Land on 32 right. That's the lucky side. <laughs> oh man, R.I.P. Moment of silence. Hold on, let me shut the music off. Moment of silence. All right, all right, guys. It's time we get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, you got three choices, and I forgot the freaking motivational quote of the day. What the heck am I thinking? Motivational quote of the day presented by. Uh, take off aviation. Nobody can go back and start a new beginning, but anyone can start today and make a new ending. Thank you, bro, for posting that on our Discord channel under motivation. Remember, you got three choices give up, give in, give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next video. Maybe it'll be at a race. I don't know. Peace. Enjoy your day.